Welcome to the demo of fleet management and route management modules. First of all, we will see the fleet management modules. In fleet management modules, there are various activities which you can do like keeping the records of vehicles, maintenance of maintenance management of the vehicles as well as the work order management for a particular vehicles. First of all, we will see the vehicle management. In vehicle management, what a user can do, user can create a record of a new vehicle while creating a new vehicle you have to specify certain parameters like the model number then the license plate number as well as you can specify the details like the driver name, location, chassis number, last automated rating as well as you need to specify the insurance detail for the particular vehicle Let's say I will select partner 2, then the particular policy number for that vehicle, then the start date of the policy, and the end date of the policy. At the same time, if you want to attach certain documents, those documents will be attached over here. Apart from insurance detail, you can specify additional information regarding the vehicles like seat number, doors, colors as well as you can specify the device uh, over here you can you know attach a device a gps device which is related to that particular vehicle i will save this record and in this way you can create a one new re vehicle record into the database at the same time you can create a, a vehicle contracts like over here I, ha I have created one contract where I specified the vehicle name the type of the contract then the cost recurring cost of the contract as well as you can specify other details like invoice date for the particular contract the supplier contractor then other details like the services if you want to include certain services for that uh, in the contract that will be coming up over here in this section you can see the total price of the generated cost for the particular contract and this meanwhile you can specify terms and con conditions in this uh, over here then in the vehicle management you can also keep the track of the odometer rating of various vehicles over here you need to just specify the vehicle then the odometer value again there is one more option of fuel logs in which we are tracking the uh, fuel logs of particular vehicles like how much fuel uh, the part uh, we have you know uh, put into the vehicles what is uh, what was it cost and what was per liter cost and other details like purchase date invoice reference and other stuff then there we have service logs and vehicle cost uh, we will see the service logs uh, later on when we go to the service management section here there is one more option for the creating of a GPS devices over here what you can do you can specify the details of any vehicle a GPS de devices which is mounted on a vehicle for that you need to specify the device ID name of the device then other details like account ID creation date some description about the vehicles in this section you can specify the driver ID the IM EI number of the vehicles then serial number, SIM phone if that device is SIM card enabled then this SMS email address then now we will move to the CMS management that is the service management access. for that first of all you can create the templates of the vehicles a template is a thing where you can specify the items service item that can be included in a particular template like here I have created a monthly servicing and I have specified the oil and brakes with their cost for that servicing when we move to the service items service items are these items which are you know used while servicing like over here I say oil let's say oil change which will be a basic cost of this $200 total cost is this then types of service then you can sp uh, specify the frequency of service items inclusion as well as if the your service uh, service items consist of spare 
certain spares part that you can use over here like say if I want to uh, uh, apply certain uh, or you know uh, remove certain items after a particular time and replace it with a new one then at that time like breaks I, I, I can specify the service item why uh, required for uh, service parts which is required for particular service items then in work order management what we do over here we specify the the work order for particular uh, vehicles let's say I want to do a, a monthly servicing or monthly spare part repairing a particular vehicle over there I can specify the service task like what I want to do, let's say I want to do uh, change the brakes for which vehicle okay then I need you can other specify the like due date when the this task should be completed let's say after two or three days schedule date you can specify when the start when the work will start then you can specify the assigned employees say employee then the supervisor who is you know the managing all those uh, all these uh, all these tasks you can at the same time you can specify the whether the task is started or not let's say we mark it as a in progress save and new okay instead of save and new we should have done save and close but no matter your work order let's save this when you go to the work order tasks you will see the task which we have just created just open it and you can you know manage the state of that task like let's say I have just started testing on this uh, that work order then after that I will say the task is completed or if you want the task to be cancelled it can be cancelled from over here In this way, you uh, then there is configuration section where you can specify the vehicle modules, then the brands of the vehicle and vehicle status. Now that's it for fleet management. Now we will go to the route management section. In route management, what we can do, we can track or the distance between two partners. Let's say we will track in between two partners, and the same track will be uh, you can uh, will be available on Google Map on this get a path form you have to just specify the path of the partner first partner let's say parent 2 or I will take HFC then I have to specify the destination partner let's say partner 2 after that I will click just look into this section presently we don't have any path specified over here but as soon as I click on get a path it will show me the all the path the details like from started from that is the present address of partner source and the last of the last option is the partner to that is destination address if you want to see this path on a google map that will be available on to address map here you can see the route of partner A and partner B and here in Google map you will get the path from your 
source to destination. Similarly, if you want to track multiple partners which is coming in that particular route, then you have to just specify the deviation from the particular path. Let's say I will say 100 kilometers from my uh, existing path. Then click on partners in path. Here you will get the list of all possible possible partners in the particular your source and destination address. If you want some partners to be included on this, if you want the partners should be uh, selected in given path, you have to just include those partners over here. Just click on this, and you will get the checkbox where you have to just press to be included in path. After doing this. You need to create uh, mul uh, just click on multiple address map. multiple address map you will get the original path that means from source to destination along with that you will see the partners which you have use uh, you have marked as a, to be included in path over here in this way you can track a single uh, source and destination path or you can include multiple partners from that path that's it uh, from route management model thank you